working on this part up here, what I did is I peeled back and then I cut off this extra piece and that way I can make sure that I'm really straight up against here. I'm sorry that I don't have my tripod is not tall enough to see, but uh, and because this is repositionable, I can see, all right, I'm too close and I don't have it in the right spot. So I'm gonna peel this back up and scoot this down about an inch. Because remember I told you I had some, I left myself some wiggle room. Uh, it's a little bit longer on the back and I'll trim that off with a razor knife. And so I'm gonna let that go down. I'm still straight here. Get those air bubbles out. That's nice and good. This is nice and straight here. So I can lift this up and then start to pull this paper back and then just back and forth with my hand to get the air bubbles out as I go. And so I'm not gonna pull that, I'm gonna let it just peel back on its own. Is what it looks like on the top of the desk and again I apologize because I don't have a tripod big enough I could trim this whoops there we go I could trim this excess off this is the back side of the desk or I can just fold that over and stick it and that's what I'm gonna do is just fold that and make sure it's stuck down at the back to do the back piece I don't want to go from one side to the other I want to start in the middle so I made a little split very carefully and uh, making sure that I don't cut my paper, only just the backing paper. Okay, it's easier if you open it out instead of having it folded. And I can see the little crease where it's releasing underneath. I can see the little bu air bubble where it's uh, releasing the backing from the paper itself. I haven't cut my uh, peel and stick paper at all just the backing. All right, so my next step is to measure, because this is what I'm gonna do next, is to measure this, and it's 32, 32 inches. I've marked a halfway point at 16, it's right. Well, I can see it, there it is, it's right there. This is also, uh, so this is the piece I'm gonna be dealing with. I'm gonna come down, this is eight inches. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut out 17 and a half, which is going to be, this is 16, that'll give me an inch and a half of play. And I'm going to cut not quite, I think this is eight and a half. I think I'm going to cut down only like eight inches. So I'll have another half inch of play here that's going to be trimmed off when I put it on. So this is what that's going to look like. I've measured from the fold, from the center, was going to supposed to be 16 where the shelf stops. So I've measured 17 and a half, so it's a little bit longer and eight inches down, and that needs actually to be eight, what did I tell you? Eight and a half, and so that's gonna give me a half an inch of wiggle room. Gotta have that wiggle room. And I'm gonna secure this with one more where the pipette clips right here. To hold that together, and I've got my razor knife, get a good straight cut. exact measurements you could do exact measurements but I don't trust myself with just exactly I'd rather have just a little bit of stuff to have to trim off and get too close this paper will be out of the way for me to start my run and this is my halfway mark so I've got my mark and right here and I've got my fold and my split there. Make sure I've got enough there and there, and I do. Make sure I'm straight at the top. Room at the bottom. Okay, so I'm going to pull this back a little bit because I want to work those air bubbles out. So I'm lined up straight. Just smooth this a little bit at a time. Before I go very much further, 
I need to cut where this is going to go underneath. Come down just a little bit and do an angle cut. Lay my scissors there. Peel that up just a little bit so that I can get right into that corner. And then I'm going to go ahead and get rid of this. Get it out of my way. A little at a time. Good hair bubbles. Trim this out, take my razor knife, get up in that corner. Get this corner. And then I'll get that underside. I'll repeat the same thing on this side. And so I'm going to go ahead and go up and down with this. I like thought about back and forth, up and down, sideways. I'm going to go ahead and line this up with the pattern that's on the top of the desk. And I could probably do like a little barn door looking thing, but I am just going to go straight with this get this project done. decide what I'm going to do about these facing pieces, but I may just put some little uh, scraps of this on the facings. This is a luxury vinyl floor that I laid, and uh, if you haven't seen that on my, on my uh, YouTube channel, you need to check that out on my YouTube channel, where I show you how to lay a uh, luxury vinyl tile. Well, I am almost finished. I just need to match up a few things and apply a few in a few more places. Thank you so much for watching. This is part two. I'll be back with part three to show you what it looks like when it's finished. Uh, if you like this, give me a little thumbs up. Be sure and subscribe and hop over to myhallcloset.com to see my other DIY projects with this roommate's peel and stick uh, wall covering. I'll see you next time. Bye.